Slack guy, can I ask you a question? Uh, who said that? Who said that? Down here, down here. Look down here. What's up, little man? What you gotta ask? So I just wanna know, how you become a big, strong basketball player like yourself? Well, one thing's for sure. You gotta stay ready. And if you're ready, you ain't gotta get ready. Wow, is that all I gotta do? Well, I think I got this in the bag. I know you can do it, man. And if you can't do it, all you gotta do is equip Statement Dunker, and you'll still be good on the court. Statement Dunker? What's that? When you equip it, you'll know. It gives you powers that you wouldn't believe. Wow, Fly Guy, I'm gonna be just like you when I get on the court. But I got one more question. Why do you keep jumping around like that? Are you ready now? No, little man. I gotta take a piss. Now, I ain't even gonna hold you. Statement dunker? Boy, that joint is probably the cheesiest thing that you can equip on any of your players on NBA Live 19. But it works. So people use it. So if you want to be a defensive juggernaut in NBA Live 19, all you have to do is equip Statement Dunker. It says dunking on a defender grants the maximum defensive boost to all teammates, but in all actuality, you just have to dunk. It doesn't have to be on a defender. It doesn't have to be near a defender. You just have to dunk. And what makes me laugh about this whole situation is it says that it gives a defensive boost to you and all your teammates, right? No, it doesn't give you a defensive boost to you and all your teammates. It does something that people would consider cheese. If you have Statement Dunker equipped, you can immediately, as soon as you get a bump on an offensive player, get a steal from that offensive player every time. And since it gives a boost to everybody on your team, that means everybody on your team just needs to bump their man and press X or square. And I got proof.
Now, I don't know if EA Sports actually meant to design it this way, but it's really one of those things that I consider a glitch because there's no way that EA Sports was like, yo, if he dunks, he can steal every time. There's no way that that happened. Now, with that being said, it does turn you into a defensive juggernaut because you're able to bump steal. Kind of like NBA 2K, almost every time an offensive player touches the ball. Now, the reason I'm even telling you guys this is because people do actually use this method in those little tournaments, those leagues that everyone else creates. People are using this to win games. They are not trying to play straight up basketball. They're trying to use statement dunker all throughout their games, get steals, get dunks, and that's all they're doing. Literally, only one person needs to have this on your team. Because if one person has it, again, it gives that boost to each and every person on your team. But imagine, teams are running with three and four players that are able to have statement dunker equipped. So anytime any of them dunk, if they get any type of bump on you, they're already stealing the ball. They're already stealing it. And then they'll be like, yo, it's not cheese. You just got to get better at the game. Get good, get good, get good. I'm like, yo, y'all really not even nice. So if you're one of those people that want to be, pretend that you nice and stuff like that, all you got to really do is equip a statement dunker. And if you equip statement dunker on 3v3, 5v5, whatever you actually play, you're going to be able to steal the ball each and every time after you dunk. Doesn't matter. I promise you, because me and my boys actually use this cheese just to create this video. And what's crazy, right? Is this isn't even the worst cheese in the game. This is just the biggest glitch that EA Sports could have put in their game. There is no way that they actually intentionally put this in the game. There is no possible way. The other glitch that I'm going to talk about in a future video, y'all already know that left, right cheese. All you do is keep the default dribble moves on your players so you can go left, right to create as much space as possible. We're going to talk about that later on. But right now, this statement dunker, yo, if you really want your team to be quote unquote good, this is the only way. This is the only way you're going to be able to compete in these tournaments out there because everyone on the other teams will be using them. Every single person will be using them. And you know what? I actually stopped playing NBA Live for a while just because people was using Statement Dunker. Like, I legit told Donnie, the EA Sports community manager, like, look, I can't even play this game right now because it's so cheesy and so... Uh, it's just fake. It was really irritating at the time. Like, NBA Live really made me mad for about a good two, three weeks. I was just like, you know what? I'm not playing this game. I'll play Apex. I'm not about to play nothing else because uh, I, I was just frustrated. I, I was severely frustrated with NBA Live. But eventually, I just kind of got over it. And it was like, yo, if everybody else going to do it, I'm going to do it too. So there's that. Now, if you haven't already created one of these types of players, I'm going to tell you exactly which players you want to create. Don't even worry about, you know, the names and all that. You can go ahead and edit your player info. Y'all already know. I'm not really worried about that specifically in this video. But there's three main players that I would choose in order to equip Statement Dunker to them. One, being a point guard but a slasher. A slasher has Statement Dunker. You're able to use them. And the reason I say you can use them is because they're fast enough to get in front of somebody and get that bump so you can get that steal after you get that dunk i'm just saying and then after that we have the wing score once again you can use either the rosen or the vinsanity one i personally like the vinsanity one because i feel like the three point shot is a little bit better but at the same time if you get that bump and you good and either one of the wing defenders because they already have a steal attribute so if they have a steal attribute plus the statement dunker it's cool you good yo i promise you you will look like a god on the court even if you are a novice you will look like a god as long as you have statement dunker on gold make sure you get it on gold so if you got to play the league or whatever else just make sure you get it on gold because you're about to be nice real nice i'm just saying team to play against other teams not only does this give them the impression of an open world to appeal to the masses but you know ea they want that one thing they can sell to. This is that thing that I think will give those 2K players a 2K-like feel, but with NBA Live spin on it. My part is still the most played mode on NBA 2K. Just imagine what this could do for NBA Live. Also, the name The Rec fits in perfectly with the one.